Ritter to throw. And it's incomplete, but Chelly would have scored if that pass is on target. Guarantee you, Jonathan Gannon wanting to go for this to put Desmond Ritter in a situation, trying to win the backup job to make a Good play. Good punt by Gilligan. Wilson has to back up and field it on his 24 and lost his footing as he dives. Did that ball get hit? I don't know. I don't, I don't think that it did. Man. That right there, that's a miss opportunity. You're saying, did it get deflected yes. by the D line? Yes. I, it didn't look, based on that replay, like it did. Let's see if we get one more look just to be sure here that it did not get tipped at the line. Ooh. Painter over the middle. Out past the 20 is Robinson. And the Saints are going to call a timeout here. You know, it's just a play like that right right there with Desmond Ritter. Man, a missed opportunity. Wondering if that ball got tipped because it means a lot for him. Take a look here, David. No, I, I no. Think just a missed throw. No, just yes. I mean, Bicelli's in the end zone if that connects. That's, that, a touchdown. that's exactly why I wanted to see that yep. because that's an important throw and an important miss, unfortunately, for Desmond Ritter. So second down and one, 22 seconds left, one timeout remaining for New Orleans. Good work for the Cardinals. Second and third team defenders. Look, Demerson, I believe. Gain of 60. Saints still have that timeout. And 15 seconds on the 21. And with that closing speed, and he kept the receiver in bounds. So Saints were in that last timeout. Boy, we have seen that out of Taylor Demerson right now, right? The speed, the physicality as well on that tackle. Bringing that tight end down, no doubt about it. That is a physical tackle by Taylor Demerson right there. Once again, you know what? You're going to make mental errors. It's going to happen. Your rookie year, of course. You're playing your first preseason game. You're going to make some mental errors. That's what he did. He made a mental error on that deep ball. But man, he's been impressive, has he not? Physical. Second down and four for New Orleans. Out of timeouts. Hayner can't take a sack. Nine seconds remaining. Hayner going to the end zone. Incomplete. Good coverage. In the back corner. It was intended for Austin. And Elijah Jones, who the Cardinals selected. We mentioned they had four third round picks. He was one of them from Boston College. Played six years for the Eagles. And nice work there. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and that means the Saints have to settle for a field goal try again. Yeah, Elijah Jones with an excellent job. Quarter coverage right there. Four deep, three underneath. Rush four. Good job by Jones. Blake Groupie. Another field goal. But that's twice the Cardinals have held. Obviously, for a first down. Michael, we've talked Wolf and I a lot over the course of the broadcast about the culture change on the field starting with yourself and Monty and JG you hired both men last year at this time how have they exceeded your expectations so you know both of them and it was it was about a year and a half ago when we did the interviews first with Monty and then and then with JG and it, it was their plan uh, both showed leadership it's one of those things you feel it during the interview of who's a great leader you could feel it with both JG and with Monty and uh, what a a, a tremendous uh, couple of hires they, they were. They, they've just done, they've done a great job. Monty with the roster changes and improvements, uh, two great tr draft classes. And you saw him today, Darius Robinson, really being disruptive out here. Uh, Star Thomas. Um, you know, there are just some players out there that are really starting to make an impact. And the energy of JG, like how can you not get on board? The guy's always fired up. Does he wake up that way? The ground was touched at the 11, but it's a... Once again, on that crossing route, little on the back shoulder. You'd like to have it a little bit more out in front, but still got it there. Nice catch by Bocelli. 
work in the middle of the field on this possession. Cardinals started last year with Josh Dobbs as the starting quarterback. Colt McCoy was released right before the start of the regular season. Tune sometimes would come in as a backup as he hands it off and into the end zone for the touchdown is Michael Carter. Excellent drive engineered by Clayton Tune and finished by Carter. Oh, did you see the Jets in the it was. I do too. And there it was right there. Michael Carter gets ball. Yeah, it looked like he was down as well, David. And coming out. No, as a matter of fact, he was not down. Watch this. Oh, that's a great job by Hall. Stripping that ball. And you know what, David, once again, I mean, there's a play it didn't work for you, but guess what it did work for? Hall. We're going to give him a big plus. Did a good job in coverage on third down at the end of the half in the end zone and single coverage in there with a forced fumble. So first down, Rattler back to throw. Looking deep. And some hand fighting, and the pass is incomplete. That's got to be on the offense. Perry had his hands in the grill of Elijah Jones. They're calling it on Elijah Jones. That's interference. Defense number 28. Automatic first down. Uh, wow. And you watch this one on one on the outside. He's got his hand <laughs> in his face. Now, Jones does have a hold of Perry's forearm, but that's because Perry's hand attached to the forearm is in his throat. That's awful. You guys, it's during that last time. Inside right, the 10-yard line, Polker down to about the five. Spencer Rattler looks like he knows how to operate this offense so far. He's playing quickly. I mean, even though that was a bad call, that, that throw was pretty good downfield to Perry, and that was on that dump off as well. Yeah, I think Spencer Rattler, this is an offense for him right here. I mean, balance is what I think he's going to thrive in throughout his career, to be in a balanced offense. And that's what Dennis Allen likes to run. Him straight ahead. And nothing. Cardinals all over that. Barone McKinley. Played some games last year in Miami. And Andre Sachere, who started five games, he's trying to make the team as the third safety. He was in there, too. And that was a nice job right there at the point of attack. Once again, it's so critical. You want to run the ball in between the tackles. You want to cram that thing vertical. And you better be solid at the point of attack defensively. So it's second and goal on the five. Rattler will throw it. Flag down. Another pre-snap penalty on New Orleans. The Cardinals some credit for that, though. They're feeling those guys up front, worried about the pressure coming Both out of their stance. Offense number 65. Five-yard penalty. Second Jesse Davis, the good party there for New Orleans. Boy, David, that, that the really has been something I think the Arizona Cardinals have done a good job. The Cardinals are, you know, these, not a lot of false starts, not a lot of penalties here on the Cardinals. At least it feels Hello. that way to me. First downs in the good, and the Cardinals take the lead. Extra point is good, and the Cardinals back to the original line of scrimmage, and the Cardinals to the four. It'll be third and goal from there. Verona, the Cardinals lost his helmet as he made the tackle. Good, and the Cardinals take the lead. Once again, your opportunity to make a play, especially when you get down in the red zone, whether you're playing on offense or defense. And again, here's the kickoff. You want to impress a coach? This is the time to do it. Make a play Tight in the red zone. Third and goal. From or be touched by a play. Rattler was benched. Guy, he's got his hand <laughs> in his face. Rattler, as he was in the air. Yeah, Dennis Allen just threw the challenge flag. Did Rattler get the ball across as he got hit by Hall? Did not look like he had touched out of bounds as he extended the ball. Placed by. His hand in his face. Play that Hall has made in this game. 
This is going to be really interesting based on the angle. New Orleans is challenging the ruling on the field if the runner was short of the goal line. Timeout. Based on the. Well, back home and he gets a rushing touchdown here at State Farm Stadium. Groupie. I know you love that name. Gets the in. That room shaping up given James Con a high draft pick on Trey Benson. Imari DiMercato was a reliable player last year. You got guys like Michael Carter and DJ Dallas, as well as Tony Jones. So nasty. It's going right to be Michael Carter. The Michael really Carter on the field is an NFL runner. He's going to play. I, I Based don't know on the if it's angle, David. Here or work here with the Arizona Cardinals, but he's going to play in the National Football League in the year 2024. Play fake. Toon setting up in trouble and wallop. Got out of there initially, but then fell down. And Nick Lalos with the big hit and the sack. Yeah, right here. Watch Isaiah Rupi. Adams working out to make it. Guard. You can see it. There was a mix. That was more mental error right there. Four. And the Cardinals will punt it away. Well, it's amazing to see Clayton Toon pull the ball down and run the ball. You know, he's much more athletic, right, David? Yes. <laughs> than people gave him credit for. Man, he can run pretty much like Desmond Ritter. Ritter is a long strider, just like Clayton Toon. Probably, I'd, I'd say that Ritter's got more speed. Clayton Toon's a good runner of the ball as well. Kool-Aid McKinstry is the deep man here for the Saints. And it's fair. Guys, was a statement of purpose by Monty Austin Fort and the Arizona Cardinals. You know what it's about a rookie, and it's yeah. not Marvin Harrison Jr. We're talking about Tip, Tip Ryman. I know you. What you want to see is what Monty and JG want to see, and that's brutality at the line of scrimmage. And Ryman brings that, of course. David, I'm just saying right now, Tip Ryman, 6'5", 275 pounds. He was the best blocking tight end in the draft, in my opinion, coming out. Of college, the Cardinals drafted him in the third round. Now, why would they do that, David? Well, it's what he's known for. And then you got Trey McBride, who can also block, who's a move tight end, and you got that in rundown situation. I think the Arizona Cardinals could lead the league in 12 personnel in rundown situations this year. Miles Murphy has had a good camp, made the tackle, lost his lid in the process. 
rookie free agent out of North Carolina. And as I was talking about earlier as well, David, my goodness, it doesn't mean you have to jam it in there with 12 personnel and run the ball all the time. You could use play action, of course. It's very effective out of 12 personnel, but you could spread it too. Put the tight ends in the slot and throw it. Rattler on second and nine overthrows the intended target. Here's the other thing. Probably the biggest thing when you talk about a defense when it sees the Cardinals go with that 12 personnel. They still have to worry first and foremost about finding the Is he running? The Cardinals have a weapon that most other teams in the league don't have. And I guarantee you that's what defensive coordinators are worried about the most. No doubt about it, but once again, don't count on Kyler Murray. And of course, a great all-time Indianapolis Colt in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Boy, David, did you see that catch by Chesena right there? Oh, my goodness. That was big time. Guy sitting in the middle right there running that slant. The ball put on him. That was a full extension. Lit up. Great catch by Chesena. So first down, Clayton Toon looks really Over sharp. 100 a rushing sweep to Weaver. Ripped down at the 48 yard line sure. by Monty Terms Rice. of blocking as well as I take a look at this right here. Physic Clayton to zipping it in on Marvin Harris. Extension grab like in between two defenders. Dean by very, two. Very nice thing. right there. You know, Sonner right that. there. It's about this big time of a coach. The bullets, metaphorically speaking, are live right now. You're out there, and the silks are on, and you're trying to drive the other guy into the ground. Make a play. Down on him. Eflin and Hudson team up on the stop. Probably a bad time to say this because Toom was on the ground, but I think this is a